Introducing the highly anticipated Triumph Speed 400, Triumph's latest entry-level model designed to captivate new riders around the world. In this technical review, we'll delve into the key features and specifications of this impressive motorcycle. For over a decade, Triumph has been striving to create an enticing entry-level range, and the Speed 400 is the culmination of their efforts. Developed in collaboration with India's Bajaj, this bike is built on an entirely new platform and boasts a powerful 398cc, single-cylinder engine. With the Speed 400, Triumph takes on not only retro-styled rivals like Royal Enfield's H&Enter 350 and Honda's CB350 but also European contenders such as BMW's G310R and KTM's 390 Duke. Now, let's talk about the price. While the official figures are yet to be announced, Triumph assures us that the Speed 400 will be competitively priced, aiming to rival European counterparts like the BMW G310R. When it hits the market in December, the Speed 400 will be available in three captivating colors, Carnival Red, Phantom Black, or Caspian Blue, each featuring an oversized Triumph logo on the tank. Now, let's delve into the heart of this machine, the engine. The Speed 400 boasts a 398cc single-cylinder Triumph engine, codenamed the TR series, paying homage to the brand's illustrious history. It generates an impressive 39.5 brake horsepower at 8,000 revolutions per minute. The Speed 400's handling is top-notch, with a hybrid frame that combines a steel main chassis, bolt-on subframe, and cast alloy swingarm. Its short wheelbase, along with non-adjustable big piston front forks and a preload adjustable monoshock rear suspension, ensure a thrilling and agile riding experience. Inside the cockpit, the Speed 400 keeps things simple but functional. The instrument cluster features an analog speedometer and a grayscale LCD display providing information on fuel levels, gear position, trip meter, and service indicators. While it lacks phone connectivity, it offers a USB-C port for charging your devices on the go. Safety is paramount, and the Speed 400 doesn't disappoint. It comes equipped with switchable traction control, ride-by-wire throttle, and an assist and slipper clutch. These features provide enhanced control and stability, making every ride enjoyable and safe. Bringing this impressive machine to a halt is a radial, four-piston front caliper gripping a single 300mm disc. With abs as standard, the Speed 400 ensures confident and responsive braking. Let's take a quick look at some of the Speed 400's rivals in the market. The BMW G310R offers comparable performance but with slightly lower power and weight. Meanwhile, the KTM 390 Duke closely matches the Speed 400 in terms of performance and is also manufactured by Bajaj. And if you're seeking a smaller displacement option, the Honda CB300R provides a lightweight alternative. While we're excited to share our riding experience with you, unfortunately, we haven't had the chance to take the Speed 400 for a spin just yet. But rest assured, we'll keep you updated as soon as we do. In conclusion, the Triumph Speed 400 marks Triumph's entry into the competitive entry-level segment. With its impressive power, agile handling, and stylish design, it's poised to make a significant impact. Stay tuned for more updates and don't miss your chance to experience the thrill of the Speed 400.